I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. big, dazzling smile, it'll just knock every man right off his feet. <laughs> now, Thelma, Thelma, look, you, now, you, you can do better than this. Look, if you're gonna send this picture into the Lonely Hearts Club, it's got to have, have sex appeal. But I haven't got sex appeal. Oh, of course you have. Now, I notice that every time I come into the delicatessen. Well, next to the salami, maybe. Come into the back club. You just give me that smile, huh? You know, you shouldn't be wasting all this time with me, Mr. Collins. I can't pay you very much. Well, don't worry. Uh, maybe this picture will get you a rich husband. All right, cross your legs again. I'll promise you this. If I get a man to marry me, I'll sure tell him you were responsible. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> okay, get in position again. Excuse me, boss. Fine. There's a man out in the office to see you. He says he's a still photographer for one of the movie studios. That's it. The name's Bert Mason. Dazzling now. Bert Mason. Schultze, Pappy Mason, he started me in this business. Thelma, could you excuse me for just a moment, please? I have to go back to the Dulles Testament with a rush hour anyhow. Oh, well, we'll resume tomorrow then, okay? Sure. Oh, Pappy Mason's a wonderful guy and a great photographer. Pappy, how are you? Hiya, Bob. I'm so glad to see you. Good you good look wonderful. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me, I want you to meet my assistant, Schultze. How do you do? Well, how do you do, Schultze? Can he get me an autographed picture of Marlon Brando? In a t-shirt, right, Pappy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, oh, say, incidentally, I see where your studio signed uh, Philippe Farnsworth. Hmm? Yeah, we sure did. Matter of fact, that's why I come by to see you. What? How would you like to come over and take some pictures of her? Happy, you're, you're kidding. She's no. the boss's favorite movie star. Oh, what an actress and what a gorgeous gal. Yeah, she's beautiful, all right. Yeah, when she's on the screen, I forget to eat my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> How's nine tomorrow morning, stage six? We've got an appointment at nine. Cancel huh? it. I'll be there with bells on. And thanks for the invitation, Pappy. Well, thank you. I... Well, I've got to get back to the studio. Don't forget now, Robbie. Nine, stage six. I'm counting on you to help me solve things. Right. Oh, Pappy. Hmm? Wait a minute, you, you need some? Farnsworth doesn't like a single picture that I've taken of her. Not one. Well, Pappy, you taught me everything I know. If you can't please her, what chance have I got? Oh, I'm not thinking about your camera work. Bobby, you've got a great talent for handling women. Oh, Pappy. Oh, I've seen you operate, boy. <laughs> You're the greatest. Oh, the way you sweet talk them. No, no, women are just susceptible to flattery. Oh, no, you just twist them around your little finger. No, well, you compliment a woman, they'll do anything. No, I know that, and besides, Bob, you're young and good looking. I'm telling you, she'll go for you. <laughs> Not nine o'clock, stage six. Huh? Right, right. Five, five, five. <laughs> compliment a woman, she'll do anything. <laughs> just to see Philippa Farnsworth? Well, I went if Uncle Bob would take me to the studio with him. Morning, Margaret. Chuck, this coffee for me. I don't want to be late. Oh. Bob, you know, Mrs. Flosher at the supermarket wants Philippa Farnsworth's autograph. Yeah, me too, Uncle Bob. Look, what is all this excitement? She's made out of the same flesh and blood as the rest of us. Yeah, but man, look at the way hers is arranged. <laughs> now, that remark is typical of a high school freshman. I'm a sophomore. I know. <laughs> Philippa Farnsworth, Philippa Farnsworth. Well, what is this all about? She's just another actress. Well, if that's the way you feel about her, how come you got your hair cut and, and bought a new tie and had your suit pressed and <laughs> got some new shoes and drowned yourself in aftershave? Like Margaret, that's not true. It wasn't a haircut, it was just a trim. <laughs> that tie doesn't go with the suit at all. Oh, well, who cares? Philippa won't like it. Now, isn't that just too bad? That really worries me. Well, see you two later. Bye. No, you can't go up the studio with me. <laughs> Watch him run upstairs and change that tie. I bet you Bucky does it. So bad. Pay me. 
Not so fast. <laughs> Could you take it out of my allowance, a dime a week? <laughs> That's your dressing room there. She ought to be just about out of makeup and now. Yeah, I hate to admit this, Pappy, but I'm actually excited at the prospect of meeting her. <laughs> oh, calm down, Bob. <laughs> She's just flesh and blood like the rest of us. Yeah, but man, look at the way hers is arranged. <laughs> See, that's pretty good. Yeah, I just made it up. I better <laughs> let her know what you're doing. Get out of my sight, you idiot. Get out of here. Both of you. a makeup man? I'm no character woman. I'm a star. And as for you, when I asked for a gown cut low, I want it cut low. Now take this burlap sack and get out of here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey, what's the matter, Philippa, baby? Is something wrong? Well, come on, tell your agent. Everything's wrong. Why is it the destiny of genius to be plagued by morons? Yeah, but baby, these people are the best people in the business. Well, they're not good enough for me. Well, all right, so I'll get you a new makeup man, and I'll get you a new wardrobe woman. And look at this hair. Is this a coiffure or a rest home for old sparrows? All right, I'll get you a new hairdresser. <laughs> and that stupid director. He wants me to play a mother. Me, who was Miss Wyoming of 1930... 47. Well? <laughs> oh, and here's another one. He calls himself a photographer. I have a French poodle who could take better pictures with a box camera. Miss Farnsworth, I brought Mr. Collins here. He's a wonderful photographer. Oh? Oh. You're a wonderful photographer, are you? And you'd like to take my picture, too, would you? No. <laughs> Rudy. Rudy, who is he? Who is that man? Well, I don't know, but I'll find out. I'll have him barred from the studio. Oh, don't be dense. I want him to take my picture. Yeah, but he said no to you. That's just it. Only a genius would dare say no to me. Yeah, but baby, you don't understand. He said he wouldn't take your picture. He'll take my picture. Don't worry. He'll take it. I believe in you. I predict when you send this picture in the Lonely Hearts Club, you're going to get offers from a dozen husbands. <laughs> I'd settle for one. <laughs> Just roll the kiss again, try it. That's it, right there. Right. Hi. Boss, 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 she's here. She, she's right out there in the office. It's Sophie, hurting. Sophie, will you please not get so excited? Now tell me quietly, who is it? I believe it's I better be going. You just sit right where you are. I'm taking your picture now. Schultze, tell her I'm very busy. Boss, maybe you didn't hear me right. It's Philippa Farnsworth. I belong to a fan club. I don't. Tell her I'm busy. All right, blow the kiss again. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Out Farnsworth. of my way, child. Right. Out of her way, child. Mr. Collins, I've decided to allow you to take my picture. Where would you like me to pose? Yes, where would you like her to pose, Collins? No, but close your mouth. Unfortunately, I don't have too much time. I must hurry back to the studio. And she must hurry back to the studio. Dumbo, will you please close your mouth? <laughs> Mr. Collins, I will not be ignored. She will not be... Only quiet. Hmm? So as to avoid any possible misunderstanding, I have no intention of taking your picture now or any time in the future. Close your mouth, Dumbo. <laughs> I demand to know why. All right, I'll tell you. Because you're a vain, selfish, nasty-tempered woman, and I don't like you. I don't like anyone who steps on little people. Little people who knock their brains out to keep the public from knowing what you're really like. Now, get out of my studio, please. And you can close your mouth, too. Rudy! Rudy, are you going to let him talk to me like this? Uh, no! No! Now, just a minute, buddy. You can't talk to her like when that. You lay a hand on me, and you'll draw back less than 10% of it. <laughs> I think I'll leave. Stella, look back. Oh.
for fun, for you pulled her out. Just close your mouth. Tell me, you're gonna never get a husband this way. Tell. All right. But, baby, who needs him? I'll get your picture taken by Paul Hesse, Wally Sewell, the greatest. I want him to take my picture. Why? Because he said no. Oh, well, that won't be easy, because he's a very determined man. Yes, but he is a man. Hmm. I think I know how to handle this. Yeah, yeah, just relax a second. Okay. Apparently, I didn't make myself clear. Wait in the car, Rudy. Yeah. You know, Mr. Collins, we shouldn't be quarreling. <laughs> I have a very funny feeling that you and I could become very, very good friends. You, you mean a big motion picture star could care for just a plain, simple photographer? When he's as good-looking as you are, why not? Well, for one thing, I'm not going to take your picture. <laughs> Thanks. I'll never wash this cheek again. <laughs> Any calls, Chelsea? Fourteen. All from Philippa Farnsworth. Don't you think maybe, boss, that you're being a little too hard on her? You didn't hear the way she talked to Bert Mason, Chelsea. No, she's... Chelsea, that's her perfume. Is she in there? No, she isn't here, boss. Yeah, maybe she was just kind of upset this morning. I understand she's really kind of a nice person. Why don't you break down and take her picture, boss? What are you, independently wealthy? This is $100 an ounce. Well, I've been walking to work and saving bus fare. <laughs> Nylons, costume jewelry. A mink. So, she bribed you to work on me, huh? I'll take him back, boss. I just, she no, just no, Schultz, Schultz. I... Don't take him back. You're probably the first deserving person in this world she ever gave anything to. But let me tell you this. Nothing that you or she or anyone else can say can ever make me take a picture. Okay, Collins. This is it. I don't do anything foolish. This ain't a ballpoint pen I'm pointing at you. But we could keep very little money here. I'm not after your money. Now, you get this and get it good. Certain big shots want you to take a picture of Philippa Farnsworth. Now, either you take it or I get orders to fix you so you never take nobody's picture ever again. You understand? Yes. Okay, now you're being smart. <laughs> you change your mind. Yes. You can also tell them they should have given you a better part in that picture with Humphrey Bogart. Hey! Did you see me in that? Sure, you stole a picture from Bogey. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Say, and you were great in that picture with Alan Ladd, too, where you played the crazy killer with the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> they lit me. I got the leak like, you know, they got to make the star look yeah. good. Well, now you're working for Philippa Farnsworth, huh? Oh, no, I'm just doing her a favor, really. Oh. No money changed hands. She asked me if I would do it, and I said no. And she said, I'll have you fired, and I said yes. <laughs> Lovely woman. Did you happen to see me in that picture called My Darling is Bleeding? <laughs> Wonderful part. <laughs> Different. I still play a killer, of course. Oh, naturally. <laughs> yeah, but a big switch. Yeah. Catch the bit. I'm a health food fiend. Now, I always, I always got a pocket full of carrots and celery, see? And every time I reach into my pocket and take out a carrot, that means I'm gonna kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> Get the bit? Yeah. Now, the audience knows this. And every time I reach into my pocket... Shall I see who it is, Mom? I'll get it, Chuck. Hello there. You must be Margaret. I'd look forward to meeting Bob's family. 
you, you're Philippa Farnsworth. Sorry, Mom. Don't tell me this young man is, is your son. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, you look more like his sister. Oh, well, he's big for his age. <laughs> uh, Chuck, uh, this is uh, Miss Farnsworth, the famous movie star. Please, please, just plain Philippa. Hello, Chuck. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> you sent this young man to the studios for a screen test. He may be our new Montgomery Cliff. <laughs> He looks more like Huckleberry Finn right now. Uh, uh, won't you come in the living room, Miss Farnsworth? Oh, thank you sit, so much. Uh, sit down here. <laughs> Just excuse my appearance, too. I, I was peeling potatoes for dinner. Oh, may I help? Peel potatoes? Oh, surely no, you don't. Oh, but I do. You see, that's just what no one understands about me. It's the simple things I love. And they're denied me. Oh, well, if you think you'd enjoy... They say you're a movie star. You can't be a simple, sweet person. I don't want to be a movie star. No? I just want to be a woman. Boy, you are. <laughs> you see, people don't understand me. They say I'm vain and, and temperamental. Even your brother said it. What? He refused to take my picture. Why? He said I was spoiled and inconsiderate and... and even nasty. How terrible! Please don't cry, ma'am. I'm sure he didn't mean it, Miss Farnsworth. Margaret, go home. There he is now. You just wait right here. I'll have a few words to say to him. Me too. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. Sit. Hey, stuff's good. Spencer. Chuck, don't touch me. What's the matter, you Bob, do you know who's sitting in the living room crying as though her heart would break? Who? One of the sweetest, kindest, noblest women I have ever met. Luella Parsons is crying in our living room? Farnsworth. <laughs> oh, so she came here too. Yes, and considering the way you've treated her, I think that was a magnificent gesture. Why, she's a famous celebrity. That's right, she's also a spoiled egomaniac. Bob, if she were that kind of woman, why would she go to all the trouble of coming here? Margaret, simply because nobody's ever said no to her before. And she can't stand it. Isn't it just possible that you have misjudged her? Yeah, Uncle Bob, you don't understand us movie people. <laughs> you know, you may be talking to the new Montgomery Cliff. <laughs> Well, wow. apparently Philippa's put on quite a performance for you two. Hmm? Bob, she's a very sweet, simple person. She even offered to help me peel my potatoes. No minks or nylons. Hmm? <laughs> Just let me show you what a kind, simple, sweet person she is. Excuse me, Monty. <laughs> Forgive me? It's kind of you to call on Margaret and Chuck. Well, I wanted your lovely family to get to know the real me. Yes, I can hardly wait for that myself. I was telling Bob how you offered to help me peel the potatoes. And get me a screen test. Well... Oh, underneath all this glamour and glitter, you really are a kind, sweet person, aren't you? I try to do the best I... I know how. I've been a blind fool. <laughs> I forgive you. You're an angel. Well, now that you know what I'm really like, you will take my picture, won't you? No, I won't. You stinker! You mean I've wasted an Academy performance on this... this dull group? Oh, we all thought it was the real you. I'll show you who the real me is. You haven't heard the last of this yet. Miss Farnsworth, what about my screen test? Oh, get out of my way, you... you juvenile delinquent! <laughs> Aren't you going to peel the potatoes? <laughs> Twenty-five years at a studio and fired. They had no choice, Bob. Philippe insisted on it. 
You mean all this happened just because I wouldn't photograph her? She's used to getting her own way. Besides, she's convinced that you're a genius. Bert, I'm going to make her appreciate nice photographers like you. Schultze, get Philippa Farnsworth on the phone. She's about to be photographed by one of the world's foremost geniuses. What's keeping him so long? Well, Mr. Collins is projecting himself into a creative mood. Oh? How does he do that? Oh, by listening to Mozart and smoking his Turkish water pipe. Oh, really? Ooh, I find that fascinating. He said you should make yourself comfortable. Oh, I hear him coming. You won't know him. He's a completely different man when he's creating. Oh, well, I understand. That's all right. If you need me, sir. Mr. Collins, I... I'm terribly happy. Please, I... do not speak until you're spoken to. You've destroyed my mood again. <laughs> it's just... Silence! <laughs> Must we have this continual gabble, gabble, gabble? Do not move. Hold it, please. Hold it. You moved. Deep breath, please. Deeper. More. More. Hold that. Hold it, please. Just hold it. Hold it, please. That is it. Hold it, hold it. Just when you were turning the color I liked. No cooperation at all! Lie down! Go limp. Limp. Limper. Limp! I'm getting like this. Mr. Collins, what are you doing to Miss Farnsworth? Well, I'm taking your photograph, of course. What do you care? I thought you were fired. I was. I just wanted to give Miss Farnsworth these last photographs that I took of her. Photographs? <laughs> you call these photographs? Well, all you did was to make her look beautiful. Well, what did you plan to do? Uh, my mind is teeming with ideas. Magnificent artistic ideas. I want to put a molasses in your hair and show you crowned with a swarm of flies. What? I want to photograph you. It's the spirit of effervescence moving ever upward and upward with your head in a tank full of club soda. <laughs> you must be out of your mind. I won't let you do this to a beautiful star like Miss Farnsworth. Uh, why must it be the destiny of genius to be plagued by morons? Tell him to go, Philippa, so we can create. No, I think I'm going to go with him. What? And let him take some more of those unimaginative photographs? They're beginning to look awfully good to me now. Come on, Bert. Uh, but I'm not working at the studio anymore. Oh, yes, you are. And with a raise. Bert, come on. Oh, but Philippa, don't go. Well, we understand one another. Philippa, we're geniuses. I want to hang you from the ceiling by your hair. I want to shoot you with your face. <laughs> Between bookends. Philippa. Yeah, I want to immortalize you standing on your head in wet cement. Yeah, I want to show you doing nip-ups on a rug of brown glass. Now, oh, Philippa, the now. silence! <laughs> Can't you see I'm being a genius? You are a genius, boss. I really was, wasn't I, Schultz? <laughs> <laughs> Part of the 
Cooper Farnsworth was played by Gail Robbins, Bert Mason by Will Wright, Thelma Klemper by Francis Pasco, the agent was Jerry Hausner, and the movie hoodlum was Paul Freese. Furs by Title Bomb. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. Thank you.